What's up team, this is Coach David coming at you from our Fit in 42 Lakita Training Studio and today's health and video topic is on good proteins versus bad proteins. What's the difference? What's the big deal? So there's always a good and bad to most things. Just like there's good carbs and there's bad carbs and we've made a video on that in the past. There's good proteins and there's bad proteins, right? You have to look at what's really inside of that protein. You might have say a good protein, which you want your proteins to be lean and you want them to be nutritious. And that's how you get the most out of them, right? Because while something might have protein in it, it might not be the best for you depending on what is actually inside that meat. So let's say, let's go into a steak, right? You can have a steak, but you need to get a leaner cut of the steak. That way you get in the nutrients that you need, you get in enough protein to fill and supply the muscles and make, that, make sure that you're able to repair your muscle and then grow that muscle. But you also wanna make sure that you're not adding on fat along the way. And if you get a fatter cut of steak, you might be getting more fat than you are protein. And if you are doing this, you are gonna gain body fat. And that's not something that you want. A lot of you guys are on very, not very restricted meal plans, but a lot of you guys are on meal plans and following macronutrients. And if you have a set amount of macronutrients, and so let's say you have 30 to 40 grams of, of fat that you can eat a day, or 40 to 50 grams, whatever your, your macronutrients might be, your macros are, if you eat the steak, and let's say that the steak already has 20 grams, you might, you probably get about 30 grams of protein out of the steak, but let's say it has 20 grams, or let's say it has 30 grams. Sometimes some meats could even have more than that, and they could be very fatty. While it tastes good, it's gonna add on to your daily intake of fat. And then you're gonna spill over on that daily intake of fat. And remember how many calories are in each gram of fat, you're going to gain fat and you're going to gain weight, and that's not something you wanna do. So there's good proteins and bad proteins. Now let's list some good proteins. Good proteins would be chicken breast, lean ground turkey, lean ground beef, lean cuts of steak, whatever it is, lean cuts of whatever the meat is. Now we have some bad proteins. Now what are our bad proteins? Our bad proteins would be, let's say, a bacon, right? A fattier ground beef, an 85-15 cut of ground beef, uh, you would get a fattier steak. Uh, let's just say, you know, a different uh, part of, of, uh, of chicken, right? You can get chicken thighs, which are have less nutrients and they are more fatty. Well, if you notice on this list, they might taste a little bit better because of the fat content. They're not gonna help you in the long run and they're only gonna slow you down. Remember, each step and everything that you do, especially when it comes to nutrition, you have two choices when it comes to nutrition. You can eat something that's gonna taste good and not gonna help you, or you can go the other way. And you can eat something that's gonna maybe not taste as great, but you can make it taste great, but it's gonna help you in the long run and it's gonna help you accomplish your goals. And that's what it's all about. It's all about being successful and it's all about moving forward with your fitness goals so that your radar can increase and you can become the best version of yourself. I hope this video helped, guys. This has been Coach David from La Quinta. If you aren't already, follow us on our social media pages, our Instagram at fitin 42 Coachella Valley. That way you can stay up to date with all of our programs and uh, see everything that's going on with any of the events that we're doing in our gyms. This has been Coach David. Peace out.